having someone's hair. I want to see what's going on with that. Because that was something that's like, hmm. I wonder if a lot of us are acting like a nexus, like Wanda. But that'd be rad, right? But for right now, it's like, ah, uh, some... Like, from what I gathered, because, you know, I couldn't talk for very long. From what I gather, there is a witch or something, right? Or just somebody who, like, dabbles a little bit. And I guess they were, like around the group i want to say like at least three or four maybe even possibly that three group energy i was talking about the other day but i don't think they got along i think the witch confronted somebody or something there was a confrontation ended up saying the wrong things to her or him feels like a her could be a him as well i'm just going with her because well honestly like mm. i don't know a lot of a lot of men are witches but it's like like yeah like why can't you guys have wizard can we have a word <laughs> like that's just a little bit how i feel but it's like um there was a confrontation Oh, okay, there was a confrontation. Um, and I reckon the people who were confronted didn't own up to what was actually being said or spoken, or they're just flat out lying, right? What I think happened was they got careless. Or something, somehow. They're all in an area where they all are together at some point or another. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Get off my board. And somehow someone was careless with their hair. And the witch got the hair. I want to know what she's going to do. I want to know what the, I, I want to see. I want to be nosy and see what they're going to do. It's okay, boo. Even if they look at me, it's already too late. You got their hair. You, you're you going to do whatever it is you're going to do. But I just want to know. Because uh, I am very, very intrigued by you. It's not often I pick up um, one of my own like that. It's so distinctual. You know, it was definitely one of those, uh, oh, this is a rage moment. This is a totally, uh, oh... Oh, I, I gotta know. I gotta know. We all gotta know, girl. We all have to know. We all have to know. Let me see. I gotta upload something really quick. I have been trying to do uploads and stuff like the past couple days, and it's like... Like, I just finished... Um, a friend of mine's reading, because she asked me to do a reading, and it was weird as fuck. Very weird. I don't know why it was weird though, because it was just like, I is this my cat? But you guys don't, you guys won't understand that. You won't understand that at all. Well, you might if you've been here long enough. You should. But if you ain't been here long enough, you have no idea if I'm a cat. <laughs> So let's see what this little witchy witch is going to be up to. Because I am very curious. Because it's like I, I like I don't know what could have happened or why. I just know that once, uh, like once somebody who pr is a practitioner gets so miffed, so nettled, so in their feelings, so enraged, you know, it, it all of a sudden, it, like, you already know how to practice this, you know? So it's like it's an automatic switch. Even if they didn't want to do something, that switch is still there, you know? Because anger is great fuel for magical practices. But to enrage... Ooh, I don't even know what it was, but it's like someone's mad. And if it is a practitioner, much like myself... I'm not getting in the way of an enraged witch. You're in, don't you get in the way of it either. You stay away from her. Mine just isn't all signs read if you're a practitioner and I'm calling you out. It's all good, boo, because I, like, fist bump or whatever. I, board bump, I guess. I don't know. But, like, everybody else, please enjoy the show. 
this resonates cool if night just boop your nose way it goes don't get in her way or his way though because we don't know the depths of the power of the being which is walking this earth right or what i can do to you you know Liberation energy, the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. The situation. Oh, is it, uh, uh, uh. oh, yes, this is definitely the work of a practitioner already. They're not kidding. Like, they're not, they're not kidding. They're not kidding. Wants and wishes. Let me find some shit to dig up on these motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Obstacles and challenges. Death. Scorpio's energy. Hmm, interesting. Putting an end to something in order to transform another. Like a switch or something? This is like as above, so below. Almost. Fears and rejections. Mm. That ego. Someone feels like they got played with, most likely the practitioner, does not enjoy the players. Might be taking one off the board. Hmm. I would not be made a fool, you know, or something, you know? The camera's battery is at 111 when I say that. <laughs> how this shit starts, how it will end. Mm. With this bitch coming back, yelling out. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like they're just gonna have someone come all the way back. See, my issue is, is this right here. Which piece are you going to take off in order to fuck up the game? Because I don't know which... Well, I'm pretty sure that's Bishop. This might be someone's queen. I think the boys? I'm not sure. guy sitting? Did you see this? How is he sitting? I'm not sure. Is it a pillow? Is it his legs? Oh, it's his legs. Okay. Never mind. It's his legs. D damn, dude. You could at least, like, sit cross-legged to give yourself a break. But, you know, that's the issue right here. I'm having a fear and rejection. Queen could possibly have to be removed from someone's side, either from a younger person or an older person. Looks like the younger. Hmm. Hierophant reversed. Hmm. <clears throat> Someone's prayers are going to go unanswered. This is like one of those where like God isn't going to talk to you until like you got the punishment. That's always nice. No sarcasm. In case anyone couldn't tell. But uh... 
could be dealing with a Taurus. <clears throat> Some of the Taurus in their charts. Also Scorpio, Virgo. The Ice Cream Man has no ice cream. Oh, it's this energy, huh? Or someone is going to end up feeling like him. Ooh. They might also be a whore. I'm not sure, though. I don't even know where that came from. I think right behind it, but I'll put it back. Gangs change from the tip jar on camera. Oh my god, hurry up and pay the rent so I can dump you already. Canning food for the winter. So what, like they're a thief? They expect other people to pay up for them and they want to be taken care of for the winter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pause, please, because I, yeah, I need, I need that. Be careful what you wish for, it might come true. Pharisees in the streets, weaklings underneath. Someone might do their magic while they're drinking, though. Mm, are they doing... Wait, no, hold on. Mm. Someone might need influence. The spirits. I can't tell if this is a warning for the witch or for them, but... Maybe it's good that I'm reading this, because, you know... Practitioner, you might want to be careful as well. I'm not saying that you can't act out on your rage, because we all know you're going to. Um, but at what cost? What? Damn, it's gonna take an hour and a half for an 18 minute fucking video? Okay. You're sassy, this YouTube. This is gonna be a beginning and ending theme because I do want to look at the other side. So, this person's in hermit mode could be Taurus or Virgo, predominantly. There's a separation here, possibly a breakup. Possibly uh, divide people. Like, he's got a dead fish right here. That's his only friend because the other two are getting sloppy with this on the face. And someone's like, I have the power. Okay. Okay. Like, damn, is the internet okay? Like, I'm actually kind of concerned. It's got full strength. It's just he, he, he's just not putting up with shit. That's that's okay. I think it's acting like like my freaking hotspot on my phone. It's just like Jesus Christ. Hmm. Someone's got a fake mouth. Demonstrated their strength. Yes, I have the real thing. They didn't seem like they wanted to hesitate with something, though. They wanted to end something, hurry up and eat something. I guess so somebody could feel comfortable. Hmm. Were they all friends or something? I feel like it's very strange. I feel like this feels like one of those scenarios where like you you know they aren't going to do anything after you get to know them. You know? But it's like they're the type of witch I am where it's just like I'll say shit to make people scared of me, just to leave me the fuck alone. This person might be demonstrating the strength somewhat of falseness. Or maybe someone's assuming the witch made a claim or something? I don't know. 
But it seems like they're not going to hesitate with like doing whatever it is they're going to do. You know, once again, the Hierophant Reverse, there's no commitment here. Definitely dealing with the Taurus. Uh, there isn't going to be a tower happening, but there will be heartbreak. Three swords. T first. No. Down in the situation, someone's having a hard time escaping a scenario. They're kind of lost running around in the woods. The King of Swords here, he's like, eh, someone fell in the water. Or someone got all in their feelings and told someone the truth about something. That's probably the confrontation. Could be with an air sign. Ooh. Could have been lovers here, but someone was like, fell in the toilet, literally. Someone literally got soaked. Which sounds kind of dirty, but I'm not sure. But they, they, like, there's supposed to be lovers here, but they, someone entered the emotions too wrong or something like that. But it's like someone fell all the way in the sink and they're talking about it or something. But it's causing someone else to like be stuck in the woods. So it's like, what is she saying? That's putting someone through a disaster. Or is somebody getting it? Oh, wait. Maybe this is when they overheard something? Because I did pick up that um, the witch overheard them or saw something or I don't know what it was. It could have been gossip or something like that, but like they know. like, And these people know that the witch knows. So that's... Mm. All sorts of uncomfortable. Ooh. So uncomfortable is making them want to argue with people. Or, 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 or. Oof. That could be a spell, too. Like, every time this person opens their mouth about me, I want them to get in a fight with their husband. I want to be the bitch this couple argues with. See, that would be a fun spell to have, because then at that point I just start strutting, you know, that'd be funny as hell. Make me beautiful enough to start an argument. <laughs> Ooh, small book. Someone's at a crossroads, right? They're like, I can go this way, that way, or I can sit right back up. When it comes to a love scenario, possibly, once again, there was a love scenario here for some reason. But that door was closed. Someone decided to escape death, the vacuum cleaner. But that's down here, which is Dow School and Challenge. And they're running right to the devil. Could be with the Capricorn. Which is strange, because that's Dow School and Challenge, is death. The wants and wish of the witch. I don't want to dig up anything that's going to make a bitch cry and then shuck that onion at him. Like, they'll be too preoccupied with, like, what's going on with this toy than they will be with the treats. It's like someone, it, like, yeah. Uh, mm. They were given an offer and decided, you know, fuck it was the better answer, I guess. They're not happy about I'm gonna go grab a water real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna eat one, watch me snack one of them some bitches, right? 
Mind you, I know some of y'all don't know what a pepperoni roll is, but if you actually came to West Virginia, number one, it's going to be hard to get the fuck back out. Number two, pepperoni rolls are the best things you will ever eat in your life. I swear, especially when you make them right. Like, oh my god, there was this one place called, um... What the fuck was that called? It was, what did they do? Oh, my soup. But yeah, there was this place called, um, Goodfellas, or, I think it was called Goodfellas. But it was a restaurant here in the city of Clarksburg. That shit was fantastic, yo. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know where my vaping thing is, and that makes me big sad. Because I literally just looked at it right before I got into the bed. Yeah. Is that it? No. I didn't know what I did with it. No, I was gonna use it. What is that? Oh, that's the right. This one. Oh, I was sitting on it, son of a bitch. Why does everything I own have to be black? Because it all matches too much. My cat, my hat, even me. Everything's gotta match, I swear. Ugh. But yeah, it's it's going to be a situation. You ever try to throw someone a bone and they didn't go for it? I feel like that's what happened. I feel like that's what happened with someone. They were thrown a bone. They didn't take it. I mean, were they going to start a conflict with this witch to begin with? Like, you know, because you can usually tell how you're going to treat somebody the first time you meet him. Like, everyone says don't judge a book by its cover. But that person's probably a narcissist who made that up, right? We're just going to go with that. Either way, there is this thing that people do, right? When you first meet a person, you kind of already get a vibe about them. Always. So it makes me curious, like, were they planning this? No. I think they thought they were a loser or something? Or they just didn't have a victory? Or they were gonna mock them anyway? So wait, so they were trying to get along with them then? No, no, okay. No, they, they were, mm, I mean, they like what the person possibly brought, because it, it made them look stupid. Oh, that's nice. And unsuccessful with the King of Pentacles. They, the witch must be an earth sign or something, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Hmm. Right here as well, but it's like, mm, or this is how they are. They could be an earth sign too. The devil did pop up, so it could be dealing with Capricorn. Also, Leo, Leo Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The lovers card came out as well. Mm. So were they gonna betray this witch the entire time? Oh, hell yeah. Did the witch already know that? Yes and no. And if you look at this combination, it kind of makes sense why. It's kind of like, I don't want to lose this opportunity, but I know I'm going to have to. I'm not going to like it anyway. But I can't blame them for why. Especially considering they're worried. You know, someone was being generous by not offering too much at all. They held a lot back from this witch whoever it is, and it's like, oh. And they knew? Oof. 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 That's not good. That's no bueno. 
totally not happy. Mm. You ever watch someone break their own heart? I've even been a participant in that kind of thing from the other side as well. It's never a good picture. Never turns out well. Never ends up uh, becoming what you need it to. Let's see if I can do something else. Oh wait, I'm already here. Ha 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 ha. Give me like one second, y'all. Okay, okay, I'm back. I don't remember why I left. <laughs> like I was gone for like a good like half hour because it was just like I got distracted. Then I was talking to my friend. Then the internet lost its mind. I don't know. It's been like this since like I don't know which day it was. That solar thing or whatever, solar blast, solar wave, I don't know. Just would fuck it up. <clears throat> fuck times. Fuck times. Hmm. It's like really annoying because it's like I'm uploading like two videos. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna upload that one before I go to work today because I'm up pretty early. Yeah, doesn't matter. Maybe I'll call off. Fuck it. Mm. Ooh, memories. Okay, I remember what this is now. What? Oh, that's my fucking whatever. I was about to say, did you pop up too? Huh. What was that? Oh, that was pretty. Hi. Oh, she's going through too. The door is open on you too. Hold on. I got know we were just sitting here talking about the internet. She's apparently going through some shit too. That's how I got distracted. Cause it was just like, it's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, um, looks like. Wow, the witch really wants to make him feel bad for just not even offering something or giving something. Just a little bit of credit. That's all I want is a little bit of credit I can hear. I guess I didn't offer something or they just couldn't give what they were supposed to or what they should have. Because, mind you, the Knight of Pentacles when I pulled it from my Deviant Moon deck was on the side and this person actually delivered it. Might not have been good about it. Maybe a loan shark about it. This is one of those, like, you better accept my love of people. <laughs> but then again, I don't think that they had a reason not to love these folk. Until now, because apparently that's the whole, that is the entire motive. I want to make this bitch cry. Because they didn't give me what I wanted. Which is like... That's kind of childish. But okay, man, like, <laughs> go off, sis. I ain't judging.
like since you didn't want to give me na 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 whatever the fuck that is i don't know if it's credit i don't know if it's just a fess up a confession maybe i know maybe i don't know but it's definitely somewhere it's like you know i had not go off because apparently some they did something and the lord blessed you <laughs> With random, like I, I like I would, I would love to know how you managed to get one of their hair. That's that is what got me. Cause it's just like, how did they get their hair? What they have their hair? How did they get close enough? But it wasn't even that. It was like it just happened to be somewhere. That's really what it is. It was just like the serendipitous. The Lord heard your prayers, and He's giving you this present. You know, like one of those, however. The thing is, and I've talked about this before, right? If you go into like a whole like cursing, hexing, tricking, whatever, you got to remember, man, you're going to have to live through the very possible same thing. Or at least emit the energy of whatever it is you're sending to someone. You know, like, you gotta get close enough to the motherfucker for it to transfer. And if you don't get that close, uh, it's just gonna stick to you until it can actually, like, move with the winds and shit to get there, right? So, uh, that's my only advice for you, practitioner, if you're watching this. Um, you managed to get the hair by chance because you can't get close enough. I assume... Because, I, I mean, that's the only way I think. Because it was like, you already dealt with the person. And, like, you couldn't get anywhere with them. And all of a sudden, you got something of theirs. And it's just like, I don't think I should have this. But apparently, like, someone thought I should. Do you ever think about how that's going to, like, uh, echo off of you if you can't that, get that close again? You know? it's. But then again, I don't... Well, I don't know. Because then you actually have a piece of them. Which is really all you, re you need at that point. So I guess, yeah, I, I guess that wouldn't be an issue at all because you have a piece and it can go directly to the source then. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I guess that isn't an issue, but still, I just feel as though... Like, you know you're going to be carrying that lingering energy. I would suggest you be careful. Whoever you are. If you're the practitioner watching, that's who I'm talking to. I'm just saying, be careful, bro. Like, like you do you. Like, you know, like I, I, I like I could, I could tell you probably not to do it, but you're gonna do whatever the fuck you want to do anyway. So I might, I'll just be supportive because at least I know you're doing it because someone fucked with you first. I can't even be mad about the shit, but I am concerned because it seems like, and I, and I'm still feeling this. There's a lot of rage, and I don't know what they did. Or maybe you're just that way. But you are extra, 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 extra spicy. Like spicy armpits and all. Everyone's sweating around you. It's one of those things where it's less like, it, like it, if you're not careful about how you send it out, everybody's going to feel it. They won't know where it's coming from. They don't know why. They just know you smell like it. That's why I would suggest you be careful. I would suggest you do it at a time when you're not going to be around them for a good minute. Give it a day or two. That way things happen without you being there. That way most of the expression and the sense will drift from you and you could deal with the throws of whatever it is you toss out at them in the luxury of your own privacy where no one's gonna see you throw a fucking hissy fit because you know you're gonna throw a fit at some point if you if you send some shit. However, if you're gonna go ahead and do this, do this when you're not going to be around anybody. Because it is absolutely dangerous with the rage my dear fellow witch um that you walk with in regards to whoever <laughs> it is whoever who, whoever the bitch is whose hair you now possess you have a lot of rage to them you are very angry you don't want to bring that anger towards people who don't deserve it nor needs to sense it it's dangerous
Let's see. Fears and rejections. There is death here. Someone does get squat? Whoa. No, that's obstacles and challenges. Keeping them from crushing you. Doesn't seem like they're gonna get their wish anyway. Would you get a big old play of fish? Ooh. Oh, that's what you're doing. That's why you got the rage. You're like me. You're retaliatory only. Like, you're restricted. You can attack people whenever you want to. You have to wait for them to fuck you for first. And that's why you're a little bit miffed. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Now it may... Now I understand the rage. Oh, no. Go off, sis. Go off. No. If you're... If you function in your magic the same way I've functioned, you don't have a choice but to retaliate, okay? I, I got you now. I have you. I understand what you're doing. This is, like, mmm. Does this person pray to God or something? I guess it doesn't matter. But still, though, I, I I get it now. I get the rage. I get I understand the rage. You can't. You have to wait for someone to mess with you before you can mess with them back. Cause that's how my magic operates. Cause you know, the twelfth house, Scorpio, Mars placement. You know, fuck. It's terrible, especially with Saturn. Mmm. <clears throat> you got twelfth house placements like me. I already got you. Sometimes it's better just not to say anything to anybody. Cause they're not gonna get it anywhere. But this I completely understand. You're in your element. It's like when people, but with you, it's like when people hate you, it makes your magic stronger. Mmm. Oh, you could be a Capricorn, too. <laughs> bark, bark, it's me again. <laughs> it's, just, it's fucked up because it's a dog in a, in, a, in a tarot deck full of cats. The devil is a doggy. The cutest, happiest fucking dog ever. But it's the devil, right? It's cute. And that's why it's deadly. They're <clears throat> girl and or boy. <laughs> This person, I believe that, like, perhaps the best course of magic for you is a, is a source of protection. Uh, en enable that mirror you got, right? Because this is what I'm seeing right here. And I'm sure you see it, too. It's the fact that started probably with you, practitioner. Going off on them and them childishly just being like, nee, 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 you're too much. I nee, nee, nee. I get out of my face. You're too close to my face. I could be six meat, motherfucker. You know, like, it, it, like ignorant shit. Right? But the problem is, is that, you know, are, are, are they going to try to justify the argument? Only to end up with you. Expressing, well, I just don't understand how you can go and hurt somebody's feelings like that. And that's just going to set them off. It's going to show exactly what kind of person they are. And it's like you're going to get the opportunity to go off on them once again. Being all like, you got a lot of audacity coming up here with teeth more fucked up than your attitude. Go sit the fuck down. You're going to be saying shit like that. Because at that point, it's just going to be like, no, it's okay. Fears of rejection. 
everyone gets to play on the board but you, apparently, like, the rejection? Mm. Oh, you don't want to accept this? Okay, you little shit. Mind you, they got the page pentacles reversed, too. I think you share your inner, like, a practice, like, whoever this practitioner is shares a very strong commonality with whoever this is that, you know, they want to go off at. Like, it's going to be a whole ride. And this here, the ice cream man has no ice cream. This is a particular fucking energy of somebody who lacks commitment, who isn't capable of getting the shit done. He has a whole truck, but no ice cream in his truck. And it's just like, why don't you have the stuff you need to do your job? What, what is happening? I'm scared. Like, you know, it's just... But it's like they wouldn't accept what the person was giving them anyway. So then they went to match. Oh, yeah, then that, that's exactly how that went. That's exactly how that went. And made them stuck. Now we all have to remember when you put certain spells on people, a hexing, a binding, and all that shit, you, you know you're tied to them, right? When you curse someone, you're actually tied to them. Hmm. I don't believe this practitioner is unaware of this. But I feel like if this were to be done, it's probably why this motherfucker can't have his prayers answered and why God's kind of ignoring him. You know, all those prayers to the moon. The nigga don't got no ice cream. Who's gonna open the door to that? Nobody. I wouldn't. I can have ice cream. That, that's how people get stolen. You know? Mm. Oh. Someone's afraid they won't bite. Or they found nothing there for them to take. No defenses, no protections, no real guides. God doesn't even talk to this individual or individuals, whichever it is. I don't know. They got one person's hair. I do know that. It could affect a bunch of people all at once, but at the same time, it's like, uh, oh, this person doesn't have anything in there. The only fear is the fear that this game will not go in the witch's favor, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be an issue. It doesn't seem like that's going to be an issue at all. You know, it's the fact that, like, the witch keeps giving. That is one thing I've noticed. She gives. And I think there are people. Mmm. I want to do a honey jar spell on yourself. Might want to sweeten yourself up a little more. Hmm. How does this start title end with the witch screaming at somebody? Probably a little excessively, but uh, rightfully so. Looks like it was well deserved. Might be a complete ass and just chew the toy. Being like, I'm sick of the tea! No! Just all asshole and shit. Trying to relieve some anxiety right here.
Oh, you, so you're just gonna wait. Okay. I was looking at that like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Whose anxiety? So you're gonna wait. One more. Because, uh, hmm. What the fuck is this about? There's the King of Wands for sure. There's also the Queen of Wands, but she's the one who's uncomfortable. But it's like, was this a couple? Or there was a couple here or whatever. Or is this more along lines of, uh, networking? Communication. Getting people close. I'm not sure, it's like... That's neat. What is that? What is this about? I mean, like, right here. Let me see. Yeah. A tower would be avoided if someone's a loser. But one person's already hit the tower. And this is on the side of the witch. They're suspended. Hmm. Hold up. I got concerns. The oh, fuck? Someone be clobbering mother- Three motherfuckers. Someone's clobbering them. They went zit 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 with the tree. They got their guard up. And now they're in total bitch mode. Did someone interrupt someone's relationship or something? Is that why she's mad? Because it seems like... Does this witch, he or she, not know this? Because this is weird. Because this I was not expecting. That's more like a love thing right there. That feeling is... But then all of this is coming out, and now someone's whipping ass after they tapped into a tree, got their armor on, and are like, mm. This feels like someone interfered with someone's relationship. And now they're, you know, everyone's gotta pay. And it's just, mm. Well, I don't think someone was expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. I sure as fuck wasn't expecting that. This is like... Mm. Oh, let me see the ending thing real quick. A choice. Oh boy. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. The pause button. Oh my god. Mr. Trash Man, please come take this trash. Cliff notes from the Necronomicon don't say enough. You actually need the... Uh, well, I mean, it's a fictional thing, but like... You, you can get... A copy of that. Literally, you can. My favorite state, blue jeans. Seven days after your first call off. Careful what you wish for, because it just might tr be true. Pharisees in the streets, we clean underneath. Drunken necromancer, once again. 
Hmm. Practitioner or opportunist? Oh! Oh! The plot twist. Now, what is this? Hmm. Wait, or is the other person practicing too? But when they're drunk? Is that what I'm getting right now? It's like, is it too practice? <gasps> is this the same elder witch that I was reading for before? Maybe, perhaps, it could fall into that category. It doesn't feel exactly the same, but it's like... There are two practitioners. One is pissed, so their shit's gonna work better. Just end of story. It, it, it may be more chaotic, it may not come out the way they want, but it's going to be successful. someone also wants to get back with someone a little bit too but I'm not sure where that's coming from exactly other than this shit but in this regard it doesn't seem like it's very significant however uh, it could also be someone stupid to see if someone's relationships work it out I'm just saying, don't waste your magic casting on a man, if that's the case, because there's no man worth that. At least women, you know. Like, cast on your own sex. Do not cast on the opposite sex or the ones that, like, are new, because, like, you know, fuck that. Yeah. At least if I cast on a woman, I know what the fuck it's for. If I cast on a man, it's probably because he's stupid. He got on my nerves, right? But it doesn't really help me at all, you know. But it's very strange. Whatever that was. Because it was definitely something like an interference. But it's like... It was a witch interfering with another witch? Uh, because it doesn't seem like the witch knows everything. Which, there isn't anything wrong with that. But it's concerning to a point. You know, because it's like... Uh, You know, this motherfucker's mad right now. What do you think's gonna happen when they find out what it all is? Like, that that's what's really concerning to me. This individual, this witch, is already enraged. What else did, did someone or these people do that's gonna piss her off even more? Piss him off even more? Whatever it is. Because it's like, they're already, like, plotting shit in their head. They're already deciding what they're going to do. They have a motherfucker's hair. One. Doesn't even matter. As long as I have a piece of you. You know, that's the thing. I mean, unless you're fucking with someone you shouldn't be fucking with, then that's a completely different story, and that's on you. You'll figure it out, though, if you didn't ask. <clears throat> However, I feel like whatever's being hidden from the witch is just, that just might make her go scorched earth. She's going to go from Jean Grey to the Phoenix and just start fucking folk up. Gift. There's a gift here. <laughs> and a thief. What? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> House. Unexpected money. <coughs> Prison. The fuck? Someone's going on a journey a trip. Get on the bus. Go on, get. Where are we going? To see the fugitives so you remember what the last days of your life is like when we'll watching someone else to be free. Mm. 
Undisputed is my, one of my mom's favorite movies. Like, Tommy Lee Jones, she fell in love with that man, I think, from that movie. Her favorite part is when, like, Harrison Ford's in that tunnel. And Tommy Lee Jones is behind him. And he's just like, I didn't kill my wife. And Tommy Lee's just like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> my mom loves that part. That is her favorite part of that movie. She mentions it every fucking time. That's her shit. Oh, she loves it. It's just oozing of expression of her love for a guy. Mm. What? This new shit that pops in my phone. What? Oh, okay. Oh my, yeah, okay, yeah, it's an everybody thing. It's an everybody thing. God damn it, everybody. Anyway. Hmm. Someone, what is this? This is past energy. Someone was given something and it was stolen. Take him to a house. Pond? But I caused someone to go to prison or some shit. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, if someone was given something, but it, it, but it was stolen by someone else. So I ended up taking it home with him. They spent some. They they did something where it was unexpected money, or maybe they were trying to hand someone money or some shit, and like they went to jail for it. What the fuck? This is the weirdest shit. Like I, I don't understand this past energy. It's like what? Like someone took something from somebody, and the, and like what are you telling me that for? Weird ass, that's fire. But yeah, it's like that is so awkward. It's like why would that be involved? Do they know that like these people or someone know what was taken? See, that just threw me all off, and now it's like, alright, whatever, man. But it's significant to somebody. Probably the witch. Maybe. Or maybe it's something that's happening in the background we don't know about yet. Either way, yeah. That's the end of this read. Hmm. It's just that part, it's that, this, and this right here. This is like, hmm, like someone really wants to teach somebody a lesson. I'm not sure if it's worth it. But at this point, I can't tell you what to do. So, like I said, like, go off, sis. Whatever. Take him out, bro, if you want to. But there's something here. I'm not quite sure what it is. But I think pausing and waiting on the decision is a good idea. It's not wise to move when people expect you to. Especially these motherfuckers, because these motherfuckers seem weird. Anyway, that was fun. Thank you for letting me nip nose. I appreciate it. I just wanted to see what was going to happen because I was excited. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Everybody, love your face. Be safe, stay suspicious. Be careful. Bye bye.